How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you all Zivkin weapons and armor which is the new Imperial Daedric style from the Imperial City DLC. First of all I'm going to be talking about Zivkin loot and charcoal of remorse. So you can get all of this Zivkin stuff from chests in Imperial City also from fallen enemies in there as well. You won't get Zivkin loot from killing enemy players though it's only NPCs and once you've got this stuff you can obviously use it for yourself or you can just deconstruct it to get the charcoal of remorse which is the style material for the new Zivkin style. You can also buy Charcoal of Remorse from the Telvar General Merchant, which is in the Imperial Sewers. I recently made a video that goes into a bit more depth about how to craft Zivkin and glass armor and weapons, so I'll put the link for that in the description. All the Zivkin weapons and armor that you're going to see in this video is stuff that I've looted on the PTS from Imperial City, either from chests or from NPCs. And this is the promotional imagery for the Zivkin style. I'm going to be showing you some die combos that I'm using. First of all, you're going to want to use black for the base of the light and medium armor. I'm using Noxophilic black that you get from being a vampire but you could use cold harbor ash black or legate black as well and that's also going to give you those chrome accents on the shoulders and the chest then you're going to want to use a deep red daedric red preferably although this is the pts so i don't have that so i'm using nern crux red which is a really good alternative and quite easy to get all you need to do is just research one nern item and you'll be able to use it if you want even more range of color you can actually use the third color slot to get some more accents it looks quite nice in white i imagine it'll look good in akatosh gold as well so this is the medium armor and it's basically exactly the same. You want to use black and then red and then black again. I think this medium looks really cool actually. Definitely let me know in the comments section what you think of it. As I said before, you definitely want to go for Daedric Red if you can. I did make a video on how to unlock it. It does take quite a while but it's definitely worth it. It's probably one of the best dyes in the game. So this is the Zivkin heavy armor and if you want to have the exact color combination that is in the promotional image you're going to want to have black, red and black. Obviously you want that red to be Daedric red and if you can get Legate black that's one of the deepest blacks that I've seen. I actually prefer it like this so you've got red in the first slot and then you've got black in the second and third which is going to give you a bit of black and also those chrome accents as well. Definitely looks really sick and you can actually add some gold into the second and third slots as well if you want to have a different look. If you've got any other ideas for dye combinations for this stuff definitely let me know in the comments section and the only piece of Zivkin weaponry or armor that I didn't manage to loot on the PTS is the one-handed axe so I've got it here you can see it pretty similar to the battle axe that I'm going to be showing you all the weaponry actually looks really cool as well as the armor the only thing is you can't dye any of the weaponry yet I'm really hoping that they do add weapon dyes in at some point but this is the Zivkin light armor looks really nice to be honest with you pretty demonic and definitely better than the Daedric light I think all the armor is actually better than the original Daedric they had and that's probably the reason that they added this style in at all just because of the negative reaction to the original Daedric style. I didn't hate the original Elder Scrolls Online Daedric style but this is definitely an improvement and I really like this light armor. This is all shot in Imperial City on the PTS, it's actually in the Arena District so check out my channel if you want to see some more Imperial City content. I will be making a video on all glass weapons and armor as well as soon as it's launched on the PS4 and I can get enough Malachite I'm probably just going to buy the motif from the Crown Store. So this is the Zivkin Medium Armor, it looks really cool actually, one of the coolest medium armors in the game. I'm not normally a massive fan of medium armor but I think this looks really badass. Again you're going to want to have Daedric Red if you can. You can see that this Nern Crux Red is a little bit washed out, a little bit faint compared to the vibrant Daedric Red. And you can see the bow on the back there looks really cool as well. I'm now going to be moving on to the heavy armor which is my favorite. I normally use heavy armor especially for PvP and it does look quite similar to the Skyrim Daedric style. If you want to get the exact Skyrim Daedric thing you're probably going to have to have a black base coat and then you're just going to want some red and chrome accents on top of that but it definitely looks really cool really demonic loads of horns and stuff like that it looks really sketchy all of the weaponry that you're going to see in this is veteran 14 so the vet 15 and 16 versions are actually going to be a more neutral metal color because they're made of colossus ingot and then ruddy ash as well if you want wooden stuff so if they're not going to add weapon dies in at least all the weapons will be a little bit more neutral definitely let me know what you think about all of this weaponry and armor in the comments section and like i said check out my video on how to craft this stuff i'm going to be showing you all of the weapons and the shield after this my favorite pieces are the staff the great sword and the shield itself the shield looks really awesome overall i'm really impressed with this new zivkin imperial daedric style i think it's really cool that they listen to the fans and put this in there and the attention to detail is really awesome definitely very reminiscent of the skyrim daedric style i'll be making a set of the heavy and light armor as soon as i get to veteran 15 so it's going to be out of colossus ingot and the other high end materials i'll probably be using daedric red and akatosh gold on it so you can check my channel out if you want to see what it looks like with that. I'm interested to know your opinions in the comments section so if you think this is close 
enough to the Skyrim Daedric style, let me know. If you disagree with that, definitely let me know as well. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Ah.